The Mandela Catalog is a series that I've been watching for quite a while now, and finally, we have a new installment, but not in the way that I was expecting. Much like how Capcom went back and remade Resident Evil 4, and the remake is really good, there's no mods. There's no mods. There's nothing. Ashley, Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. There's no mods. I have I have no mods installed. <laughs> the skull emoji. To listen to <laughs> five hours stream it was worth it alex the creator of the mandela catalog went back to recreate or redo the first ever mandela catalog episode what i've done is a side-by-side -side comparison to the original mandela catalog and the remake or restoration as he's called it and it is really good to the point that it makes the original mandela catalog look like it hasn't aged that well but i mean that in the best way possible because the restoration is really really good i'm really excited for this we have got a new mandela catalog from Alex. I'm really excited. So I think this is just a complete restoration and remake of the original. So this might add some more stuff. It's probably, it might retcon some stuff, but I'm very interested. And I think what we should probably do as well is open up the original Mandela catalog and do a little side by side. So I'm going to keep that there and we're going to have this. Oh, is there subs? No! No! I. No! <laughs> No! Okay, okay, I'm not- I'm not disliking it. I'm not disliking it. There's no subs, it's over. It's over, boys. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna close the curtains and stuff so it's cold. Uh, not cold, dark. I'm getting 12. Whatever. Alright. Stop. Monsieur, who are you? We oui, we oui, baguettes, we oui, we. Oui. Does anyone know what that film's from? Everyone in chat is complaining because it's a French person. I mean, I can't blame you. I can't blame you. Tempest Fugil, Fugit, United States Department of Temporal Phenomena. We are currently receiving countless reports regarding unidentified hostile organisms that we will refer to as alternates. Until we have a it's cool that they've got actual voice actors now because if you guys remember the original it it was just uh, I think it was just text to speech and windows and had access yeah it's it's so much better that it's actually voice acted now Please understand the threat. it is important to stay home lock all doors and windows and have access to a loaded firearm or other ranged weapon at all times. You will know if an alternate exists based solely on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person with any sort of biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If Imagine if you just saw a guy with like a receded hairline or something. You just see someone with like a receded hairline and you go, oh, it's an alternate bald. He's kind of dumbed down how they look as well because we've seen alternates before and they don't actually look, they do look morphed, but not like, you know, to the degree where the arms are clipping off the screen or the head is like, you know, they've kind of just like, because we've seen alternates with like really long heads and stuff before. If an alternate manages to enter your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any kind of contact- It's been so long since I've watched this. Don't, don't they give you mad? We've got some scholars in the chat, right? Or communication with an alternate. We make excuses for attempts at executing them yourself. Wait, what did it say then? Like, don't try to- elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any kind of contact or communication with an alternate, we make excuses for attempts at executing them yourself. Ah, so they're saying, like, obviously don't communicate with them, which we know, but they, they're not saying don't try to kill them, which is kind of interesting. We've never actually seen an alternate get killed before, though, have we? That hasn't actually been a thing before. They've been, like, hurt and stuff, but that's pretty much it. You'd kiss your alternate on the lips. You're just making out with yourself, bro. Come on. When in doubt, follow the think principle. Tell an authority figure about the encounter. 
That's right, because the way the police worked, the, the police were aware of, like, you know, the, the monsters or whatever, the alternates. And they basically said, like, okay, if they call and they say, help, I need help, do not go to the house. Just let them get fucking killed. Because there's a chance it's like an actual alternate on the phone that's uh, trying to bait them. So you can call the police. They'll reassure you and be like, ah! We'll be down in like five minutes, it's fine. But like police in real life, they never actually come. Hinder the alternate's movement. Identify the threat level. Neutralize the alternate if safe to do so. Know your place in reality. Know your enemy. Yeah, because I, I know as well that they can hijack electronics, right? Or isn't it videotapes? They communicate through them. There's a chance that this tape we're watching here is being like tampered with. That's what I like about the Mandela catalog. You, you go a little bit schizo. You, you overthink everything. You kind of think like, what about this? What about this? What about this? When you're definitely overthinking it. Because I kind of think the point earlier on where they said, you know, try to kill an alternate if you can. That's almost like an alternate baiting someone just to kind of get close to them. Analog horror kind of mid at the minute. I swear it was always mid until like Mandela catalog came around. Local 58 did really good stuff. And then Alex, who made this kind of shown like, you know, people that aren't behind a company can also do it as well. These are like the uh, pictures of this is where you're meant to like identify. So one of them is an alternate and one of them is a person. The genius thing is what I always do. I go off like which one is like has more shadow on them. I don't know. She's kind of friendly, though. I like this one here. I'd shake her hand. I think there were pictures here. Oh, yeah, yeah. These were real pictures. Yeah, I, I like this more. I like this more. He's purposely compressed the images and made it like grayscale and stuff to make it kind of look more like scary. I like that because because that is just obviously the heel tool on like Photoshop, right? Uh, The heel tool that kind of blows over everything. So the fact that they've done this, it looks I, I like that. Why is the guy on the right shaped like a cigarette? But yeah, I mean, this as well. Uh, that is... Is it later on in the video? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's that's obviously just a Photoshop job. I mean, that is as well, but it's hidden under like so many effects. So I think that looks that looks way scarier. Because, you know, you know, when we watched the, uh, the Ban Ban video earlier and how much dark, like dark, it helps so much to like create horror. But the less you see, the better. Yeah, these are the two characters in the first one. Oh yeah, he's done the police scan thing from like episode three. That's kind of cool. I wonder if they're going to redo their lines here. Yeah, because they had the pictures there and now they've actually... I like how they've gave him a smile. And if you guys remember, Caesar was actually an alternate in this. Like he was baiting Mark out. So it's kind of cool to make him look very uncanny. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine, don't worry. What's up, are you all right? Is this uh? I wonder if this is... Hang on. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up, you're right? Yeah. I can't... I, I think they're redoing their lines. I'm not sure. Hang on. Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. Okay, so they didn't redo their lines, I don't think. They kept the lines, but they've they've obviously, like, compressed it more now. It's not that cold, and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. Reused assets? It's not, it's not a new Mandela. It's 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 a it's a remaster of the original. Oh, yeah. Mind if I ask why? Well, she screamed really loudly before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? What the broadcast told us it is? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't... I don't know. Alright, shouldn't be too bad. I'm... Just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. Caesar's voice is more compressed in this one as opposed to Mark's. Yeah, because obviously the entire point is Caesar at this point is an alternate. I think, and he's baiting Mark over to his house so he can, like, you know, kill him. So they're trying to make him seem, like, more kind of uneasy. I have a good view of the back hallway, if you don't mind. Okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. 
Could you stand where there's like no cameras? So if you get killed, no one can see. Thanks. Yeah, one thing I really like with this, uh, these kind of transitions that he's doing, he put this in, I think he put it in three. There's like this kind of like police scans and stuff that, that went through. Hang on. Yeah, so he's used like that. He first used that in the third volume and now he's like retroactively applying it, which is kind of cool. So in this bit, he kind of just drives to the house and I don't, okay, so we don't see Okay, so we don't see Mark drive to the house. He just goes straight there. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Because, like, why would you show him driving? There's not really much of a point. What did it show in... So it showed him driving. He had a little drive, a little Sunday night drive. He's chilling. And he pulls up at the house. Yeah, that's right. So we get all the angles. And then the motion detection. Okay, so let's just see how it stacks up. I mean, yeah, so all this is showing is the basement, uh, belch, and then the door. But here we've got the living room and we've got the outside. We didn't have shots of that before, so that's two new angles to look at, which is cool. Motion detection save 331 to 333. No, he left the tumble dryer on. No! I like how grainy the footy the the footage is. It almost just looks like it's moving around. Like that lamp there, I feel like it's kind of actually moving. Just because how like compressed all the footage is. Okay, I'm assuming that's Mark. And he's just gone outside. Uh oh. Something broke. Is that Mark? What is that? Yeah, he's inside now, I think. Oh, the door's open! No! Oh, so Mark's already hiding. Oh, he smashed the light out, I think. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Ooh. Okay, don't jump scare me, bro. Come on. That's why I like this series. Uh -huh. Ah! Ah! What is that? Ooh. Ooh, that was spooky. I am exhibition item 13, notebook collected for investigation. Yeah, that's the book that Mark was writing into, I think. We was just going crazy. Yeah, follow me home, Caesar. I do not want to see what is on the other side, but it has been days. Yeah, that's right. So Mark couldn't get out of the house. He trapped himself in a room, like with the alternate outside. And he was just kind of like stun locked. Item 17, camcorder collected for investigation. So this will be him filming the alternate coming in, I think. Unlabeled tape, points of interest. I really want to play the other scene. What is that? Is it Squidward? Squidward? Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Is he... Is he taking pictures? No. Oh, there it is! There's Caesar as the alternate. That is terrifying. Yeah, that's when he that's when he shot himself.
Bad decision, Mark. Oh yeah, it says that in the... You can still see the face as well. That is terrifying. Damn, that really lingered. I, I... That's one thing I like about this, though. It does not ever use jump scares. There's definitely moments that, like, unnerve you. That's the entire point. But there's no actual... So what I want to do now is I want to go look at the original. So that... That didn't happen. Uh, sound increase detection. I have a gift for you. you, you. I have a present. I have a surprise. Yeah, he filmed the door. And then... You fucking bastard! Then he shot himself. Bad decision. And that's, and that's meant to be Caesar as the alternate. Yeah, holy shit. I don't even mean this in a bad way, but like this, the, the, the restored edition is actually so much better. The restored edition actually makes the original not that good. I'm not going to lie. But that's like, that's a good thing. Because I think it just shows like how far Alex has come with like, uh, you know, directive choices and stuff. But it actually makes the original look just not that great. Chapter 6, Public Safety Telecommunication. A situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to the police department instead. I like how it says that because either all the police dispatchers fled the county or they're all dead. When police attention is needed, send available personnel to the address provided by the caller. I think since it's restored edition, the alternates don't have too much control, but still some. Maybe. I think it's still it's still very up in the air, like, how much control they actually have. I, I think that's kept ambiguous, like, on purpose. Fire department. I kind of- I forgot that there was a fire department, to be fair. If there is a fire-related emergency, contact the neighboring fire department with the provided address, along with a brief description of the event. So fire, fire departments are just called in as normal, pretty much. Nothing different there. And then medical as well is probably the same. When the caller has a medical related emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital, where their reception will take control of the line. Oh, there we go. Yep. Encounter. Spookja. Do not help a caller reporting a home intrusion. No matter how frantic their screams are. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're, they're told to basically just tell them, you're fucked. Well, you're going to be fine, buddy. And then you just see, like, the kill box. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. End the call when they stop responding. Oh, I thought they were meant to just hang up straight away, to be fair. We thank you for taking the time to learn by viewing the... 95% increase in mad. Oh, so he put the mad thing in here as well. Okay. Because this was a medical separate video. Awareness disorder is a severe mental illness that has seen a sudden return in recent months. MAD is the result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicide in patients diagnosed with MAD is 97%. 97. The remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. <laughs> There's a 97% chance you'll die, but it's okay. 3% survived. Avoiding development of MAD is the first step to being safe. It is recommended to avoid excessively frequent religious practice, as well as any belief in unnecessary philosophical implications. Always remember that looking after your- <laughs> Imagine it's like your entire family is like atheist, right? But then like your your dad is like a, a, a fucking Jew or a Christian or something. It's like, no, dad, you've got to, you've got to stop preaching. You've got to stop. You're going to get mad and die. There's only a 3% survival rate. Family and loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. Toddler stress. Okay, hang on. So I don't think MAD was in this or was it? Oh. That's right. This was in it as well. Oh yeah, that was voiced as well, which is cool because it was all TTS originally. Dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. Police fire. Caller has a fire-related emergency. Contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. Yeah, I like how he's not relying on stock footage anymore either or archive footage. 
That's a good touch. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Do not help a caller reporting an alternate, no matter how frantic their screams are. Gently reassure the caller that help is on the way. Do not speak too much. You might accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing yeah, that, worth, that got chopped out as well. Yeah, well, one thing that's cool about the the restored one is he's going for a lot more like subtlety as opposed to, you know, le spook, which is a very good touch. Toddler stress assessment video com accompaniment. Please take the time to make sure your child is now in front of your TV in a distraction-free environment. Wait until dusk to proceed. Make sure no lights are on in your chosen testing environment. The only illumination should be coming from your television. Every parent knows their child best. If you suspect your child absolutely cannot handle the test, you may remove them from the environment and update your psychiatrist. Test will begin shortly. Remember to have your data sheet prepared for result. So how did this work in the original? According to Charles' response, oh, it just jumped straight in. Yeah, there wasn't even like the whole build up with the sheet and stuff. It just said like, stick your fucking kid in front of the TV. Just fucking play it. What game is this? Uh, Fortnite. I like the sad face in the corner, literally me. Okay. So birds, like a xylophone, and then a baby crying. So you're basically meant to write down if the kid feels like happy. Neutral or sad and then I think it was the same here as well. I was like a baby laughing as opposed to like a baby crying Okay, I kind of imagine because the first Mandela catalog in retrospect wasn't that subtle I just imagine there'd be like a car crash sound effect that played for like one of the sounds Nosferatu! I know who that is because of Spongebob There's like a Spongebob episode with Nosferatu Like, this wasn't in the original either, where they were showing Nosferatu. But I shall not go with you. So there's three videos that are meant to play. This is the third one, I think. I am 97, childhood drawings. What's this meant to do then, this videotape? Is it meant to like bait out an alternate or something? The Scary Night by Mark. Oh, that's right. The video where Mark saw the, uh, the intruder. The guy with the hood on. Mandela Elementary School, grade 4K. Daddy didn't check under my bed last night, so I went to mommy's room. Yeah, because th they were showing this in the original, but uh, it was just like pages, I think. Yeah, just pages. Yeah. I was scared. There was a scary knocking on the door. Okay, bro, come on. You got to spell properly if you're writing your final message. And the scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. me scary so true yeah so this is being put in, into like a a video to gauge kids responses to it almost at mommy's room then i saw the man in the corner him yeah i never got why like mark drew him smiling the guy looks terrified like all the time and then i fell asleep the end the end yeah i thought they would have added something more there but i guess it's not really a... It's a restoration. It's a Mickey Mouse. Okay. Okay, that... Fuck you! Fuck you for that! That was fucking evil! That was... Evil! That was actually, that was so, that was evil. How was that? Nah, it's over. It's over. I dislike it. I dislike. We made a, we made a promise. No job scares. No job scares. And he fucked it. And he fucked it. I shit myself, man. I was terrified. We had a, we had a deal, man. 
No jump scares. We had a deal. Man. All right, I'm taking back the dislike. I like that though. Because that's meant to be like an analogy for uh, the, the intruder coming into Mark's room. It's so clever how you can use like all these open license uh, clips and stuff. That knocking though. That was evil. I know that sound effect as well. I literally know that sound effect. That was evil. It's like the same one. That's evil. It got you again. You, <laughs> you got scared twice by it. Test module complete. If anything unexpected occurred during the test, please take note on your data sheet. That was cool. I like that. He did a good job with that. It actually made the original look kind of dated, which is a good thing because of how like much he's changed and retconned and stuff. I think we're done with reaction, Andrew, today.